Hello everyone, this is a video on how to factory reset this Pharos CPE710, possibly also applies to CPE605. There's two ways to factory reset it. One of them is to use the device itself, there's a reset hole there. If you look in the description of this video, there's a link to another video which shows you how to do that. This video is about how to factory reset it using the PoE injector. So. If you don't have access to the device because the device is on a roof or somewhere otherwise inaccessible, then if you're using the official PoE injector, there is a factory reset hole here. You need a paper clip and you'll see what happens on the lights over here and uh, how long you need to hold this down for. Because you'll be far away from this device, uh, you won't be able to see the lights probably. So. Uh, the timing from this video is probably going to be quite helpful. So I'm going to let you know when I'm going to press the button and I'm going to press it now. So five seconds ish and it started flashing and I've let go of the button now. So if you hold this down for probably seven seconds, that's uh, probably a, a good number to hold it down for to be sure that it's triggered the factory reset of the Pharos device and over on the computer it's already booted up and is ready to access and is on its default IP address of 192.168.0.254. So there we go, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.